Hi, this is Alec from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today's record is the Jetsons' first family on the moon from 1977. So let's get started. Now, 
ladies and gentlemen, the biggest moment in the history of America is at hand. We have here the name of the lucky family that will make the trip to the moon. Hold your breath. Here it is. The winner is the most typical family in America. A husband, 38, his wife, 35, a daughter, 16, and a cute little boy, seven years of age. Oh, yes, and one dog. George, that's the size of our family. Yeah, but it can't be us because we didn't enter. I'm too smart for that. And now, the name of the winning family, America's first family on the moon, the family of George Jetson. I gotta have my ears checked. Sounded like he said George Jetson. <laughs> George Jetson? Jane, that's me. That's us. Wow, Bob, we won, we won. What do you mean, we won? We didn't even enter the contest. I've been meaning to talk to you about that, Pa. About what, Elroy? Uh, well, I cannot tell a fib. I entered our name in the contest. Elroy, why? Well, you know, I just thought it might be kind of fun to go to the moon. Well, we're not going, and that's that. Oh, it would be wonderful, George. We feel like Columbus when he discovered America. Have you lost your mind, Jane? It's dangerous, and it's ridiculous. I'll call the government up and explain it's all a horrible mistake. I'm not going to the moon. Mr. Spacely would fire me. It's probably the government man now. George Jetson. Oh, hiya, Mr. Spacely. Oh, I'm proud of you, George. And all of us here at Spacely's Pockets are proud to know a man so brave, so completely fearless, going to the moon. How about that? But, Mr. Spacely, I, I can't go to the moon. I got work to do. Nonsense, George, nonsense. <laughs> we'll get somebody else to do your work for you. You just go to the moon and don't worry about a thing. But, boss, I'm not going. I wouldn't want to risk my family on a trip to the moon. George, those rockets are as safe as the freeways. Safer? But I'm not going, and that is final. What do you mean you're not going? We've already bought you a going-away present, and there's a big write-up coming out of the morning paper. All about the hero from Spacely's Rocket Company. Oh, that publicity is worth millions. And you're not going to chicken out. And by the way, George, uh, there'll be a five dollar a week raise for you if you get back. Bye. If I get back. Oh boy. Dad, wake up. Look, the headlines in the morning paper with a picture of the whole Jetson family. What's the idea of waking me up at five in the morning, Elroy? Dad, listen to what it says in the paper. George Jetson, employee of Spacely Sprockets, was selected as the winner of the big free trip to the moon contest. George, his wife Jane, a teenage daughter Judy, and their small son Elroy were selected because they are a typical American family. Arrangements are being made at Cape Kennedy and the big moon rocket, Moonbeam One, is scheduled to blast off for the moon tomorrow. How about that, Pop? We're going to be astronauts. You mean astronauts? We've got no business flying to the moon. I can't stand high altitudes. Now, George, nowadays rocket travel is as safe as the freeways. I know. That's what scares me. But there's no backing out now. We've already agreed to go. So let's pack up a few things and get ready. There's over 200 million Americans, and I gotta be the one that they shoot to the moon. Oh, boy. We got 
and gentlemen, a beautiful liftoff. The Moonbeam One's five million pound thrust lifted her straight up. She's climbing nicely. The first stage booster has just burned out and is separating from the Moonbeam One. They've reached escape velocity and are heading into the ionosphere. It looks like a perfect shot. <laughs> So that was the Jetsons' first family on the moon from 1977. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.